Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to convert repeating decimals to fractions, and this is going to be part one. We will go through four examples, and in each of these examples, all digits to the right of the decimal repeat. And then in part two, we will cover examples where we have non-repeating digits with repeating digits to the right of the decimal. You'll see what all this means as we go through our examples. Now the steps that we're going to use will seem confusing, long, and overwhelming at first. But after some examples and practice, this process will become much faster and simpler to work through. Let's jump into number one where we have 0.7 repeating. And our first step is going to be to write an equation. X equals the repeating decimal. So all we need to do for step one, X equals, and then we have 0.777, and this continues on forever. Now let's move on to step two, which we are going to work off of that original equation from step one. We need to create two equations. One with the repeating digit or digits just to the left of the decimal. And then another equation with the repeating digit or digits just to the right of the decimal. And we can multiply by powers of 10 in order to do this. So 10, 100, 1000, so on and so forth. So let's start by getting the repeating digit seven just to the left of the decimal. So we can do this by multiplying the right side of the equation by 10. That shifts our digits one place to the left. And we can think of this as just moving the decimal one place to the right. So we are multiplying this side of the equation by 10. Whatever we do to one side of an equation, we must do to the other in order to keep it equivalent. This gives us 10 X equals 7.7 .7 repeating. Now that we have the repeating digit seven just to the left of the decimal, we need an equation where the repeating digit seven is just to the right of the decimal. And we actually already have this equation written. X equals 0 0.7 repeating. So X equals 0 0.7 repeating. So here is our equation with the repeating digit just to the left of the decimal. And here is our equation with the repeating digit just to the right of the decimal. Now we can move on to step three, where we subtract these equations to remove the repeating digit or digits. So let's subtract these equations. 10x minus x gives us 9x equals, and then on the right side of the equations, the repeating sevens, if we subtract these, they cancel out, they equal zero. So now we just have seven minus zero, which is seven. So the whole point here was to get rid of the repeating digit, seven. And now we have an equation to give us our fraction. And now we can move on to step four. We need to solve this equation for x and then simplify if possible. So let's isolate that variable of x. We have nine x equals seven. So let's divide both sides by nine. So on the left side of the equation, we just have x now. And then on the right side, we have seven ninths, which is in simplest form. The only common factor between seven and nine is one. So 0 0.7 repeating equals seven ninths as a fraction. So just remember, we're looking to remove the repeating digit or digits, and we need to create an equation that we can solve for x. Now you can always double check to see if your fraction is correct by dividing the numerator of your fraction by the denominator. So either using a calculator 
or you can do it by hand. Either way, you should get the original repeating decimal. And one more thing I do want to mention before moving on to number two, all of those steps, like I mentioned earlier, may seem confusing, long, and overwhelming at first. But I like to simplify them and think of this as left, right, subtract, solve. So get the repeating digit or digits to the left, to the right, subtract, and solve. Let's move on to number two, where we have 0 0.36 repeating. Let's start by writing an equation where x equals the repeating decimal. So 0 0.36, 36, and this continues on forever. Now for number two, we have two repeating digits. So we need to multiply by 100 in order to get those repeating digits just to the left of the decimal. So we need to shift those digits two places to the left. And we can think of this as moving the decimal twice to the right. So we're multiplying this side by 100. Whatever we do to one side of an equation, we must do to the other in order to keep it balanced and equivalent. So multiply the left side, x, by 100 as well. That gives us 100x equals 36.36 repeating. Now we need those repeating digits just to the right of the decimal. And we already have that equation. X equals 0 0.36 repeating. So left, right, and now we subtract to remove the repeating digits. So let's subtract. 100x minus x gives us 99x equals, the repeating digits cancel out, those equal zero when we subtract. So we have 36 minus zero, which gives us 36. Now we have an equation where we need to solve for x. So 99x equals 36. We need to isolate that variable of x by dividing both sides by 99. So on the left side, x is now isolated. So we have x equals, and then 36 99ths. Now 36 99ths can be simplified. We have a greatest common factor of nine that we can divide both the numerator and denominator by. 36 divided by nine, is 4. 99 divided by 9 is 11. So we get 4 elevenths. The only common factor between 4 and 11 is 1. So this is now simplified. So 0 0.36 repeating equals 4 elevenths as a fraction. Let's move on to numbers 3 and 4. So here are numbers three and four. Let's jump into number three, where we have 2.4 repeating. Now for this one, we have a whole number in front, two. But let's forget about that whole number until the end. We're going to convert the repeating decimal to a fraction, and then again, worry about the whole number at the end. So let's first write an equation where x equals the repeating decimal. So x, equals 0 0.4 repeating. Now here we have one repeating digit, four. So we need to multiply the right side of the equation by 10 in order to get that digit just to the left of the decimal. Whatever we do to one side of an equation, we must do to the other. So multiply the left side by 10 as well. That gives us 10x equals 4.4 repeating. Now we need our equation with the repeating digit just to the right of the decimal. That's going to be x equals 0 0.4 repeating. 
and now we can subtract. 10x minus x gives us 9x equals our repeating fours cancel each other out. We subtract those, they equal zero. So now we have four minus zero, which gives us four. And now we have our equation where we need to solve for x. So nine x equals four. Let's isolate that variable of x by dividing both sides by nine. On the left side of the equation, x is now isolated. So we have x equals, and then on the right side of the equation, we have four ninths. The only common factor between four and nine is one. So four ninths is in simplest form. So 0.4 repeating equals four ninths as a fraction. So going back up to our original number here, we have two, we need to remember our whole number, and four ninths. So 2.4 repeating equals two and four ninths in fractional form. We have a mixed number here because again, we need to remember that whole number of two. And like I mentioned earlier, you can always check here. So do four divided by nine, either with a calculator or by hand, and you will get 0 0.4 repeating. And lastly, let's move on to number four, where we have 0 0.150 repeating. Let's start by writing an equation here where x equals the repeating decimal. So 0 0.150150, and this continues on. Now here we have three repeating digits just to the right of the decimal. So we need to multiply by 1000. That shifts the digits three places to the left, and we can just think through this by moving the decimal three times to the right. Whatever we do to one side of the equation, we must do to the other, so multiply the left side by 1,000 as well. That gives us 1,000 x equals 150.5. 150 repeating. Now we need the repeating digits just to the right of the decimal. And we already have that. X equals 0 0.150150 and that continues on. Now that we have our two equations, we can subtract. 1000 X minus X gives us 999 X equals, and then on the right side, our repeating digits cancel each other out. We subtract them and that equals zero. So we are left with 150 minus zero, and that gives us 150. Now we have our equation that we can solve for X. So 999 X equals 150. Let's isolate our variable of x by dividing both sides by 999. On the left side, x is now isolated. And then on the right side, we have 150 999. So 150 over 999. Now this can be simplified. We have a greatest common factor of three that we can divide the numerator and denominator by. 150 divided by three gives us 50. 999 divided by three gives us 333. So we end up with 50 333rds. The only common factor between 50 and 333 is one, so this is now simplified. So 0 0.150 repeating equals 50 over 333, 50 333 Now you may have noticed as we were working through these, we ended up with something over nine or 99 or 999. This is going to be the case for whenever we have only repeating digits to the right of the decimal. So for example, 0 0.5 repeating will be written as five over nine as a fraction, 
0.87 repeating will be written as 87 over 99 as a fraction, and then something to the thousandths, like 0.337 repeating, will be written as 337 over 999 as a fraction. So that's something to keep in mind from here on out. But I wanted to go through the how and why that all works out. Now with that being said, don't just put any repeating decimal over nines. That will not work when we have digits that do not repeat to the right of the decimal mixed with digits that do repeat to the right of the decimal. We will take a look at examples like this in part two. That link is in the description. So there you have it. There's how to convert repeating decimals to fractions. And this was part one. Just remember, left, right, subtract, solve. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.